actually. Um, so could you actually first just share your name and pronouns and um, your role at the congregation this year? All right, I am Trevor Jones. I am he, him, and I am president of the board of trustees. All right. Um, and it occurs to me that this is not a, uh, a question that I had in that list of four, but um, what, uh, what do you remember of like that, that wild week a year ago? Um, Cause you were the, you were the other person on the zoom call <laughs> with me on the second week of March as we were trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. I, I mean the, the, just the crazy uncertainty of not knowing exactly what we were dealing with and how serious it was. And I mean, it's hard to remember now, but that was like, that was even before masks or before we even thought about masks or any of those things. So it's like, what is safe to do? What is, what is not safe to do? Uh, and we sort of went through at the church, we went through this thing where it was coming and then we were not shaking hands, but we were still doing service. And then suddenly uh, everything, you know, sort of happened all of a sudden. And I was, I was in DC uh, at a meeting when all that stuff happened and I was actually lobbying at the Capitol and they, they shut everything down. They, they made us leave. And then, um, and then I was on calls with you like <laughs> immediately after that. So I was, it was intense. It was a really um, unclear experience uh, exactly what we were dealing with and how long it was going to be. And so part of that, I think the thing about it is like looking back, you think, well, uh, clearly, you know, we should have had these longer term plans and maybe we should have thought about this or we thought about that. But we were just dealing with um, crisis management in those first days. Like well, this is, this could be uh, a couple of weeks. We didn't, we didn't know. And so that was the, the big thing we did on the fly. Um, and I know one of your questions is, you know, what are, you know, what do we do well? And I have to say, that's one of the things that I think is really uh, a huge tribute to the staff of our organization, you and the entire team is how quickly we pivoted to doing online services. And that's grown. I mean, that suite of experience has grown over the, of the year, but we moved really quickly into doing that. And that was, um, that was pretty amazing considering that, that uh, we didn't really know how long we were doing it for, what the scope of this was going to be, what the impact, how people were going to be accessed, whether or not we'd get back into the building, you know, partially or, and it turned out, you know, not at all. So um, yeah, chaos, uncertainty. Yeah, no, it was, it was a wild week because our, um, our president that year, you were serving as vice president, Emily Sh Cameron Shatil was serving as president and she was on vacation overseas and you were in dc mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was nuts <laughs> so we had all the early consultations on zoom not because we were not meeting in person but because we were we were spread out if i remember right um so what's what's a place that we've struggled as a congregation in the last year well i mean two things i mean this is the the good and the the bad, right? As like, so part of, part of the, the wonder for me about this is realizing just how much more we are than a building. I mean, just how connected in a lot of ways we'd be able to become uh, and to remain engaged. And I think that that's a, a great success. I mean, one of the things that thrills me more about being president than anything else during this time is getting those reports of all of those social groups that are still meeting uh, online, the, the online games that people have played together, all of those things that they have done, all of these groups, dozens and dozens of things that have happened in the church. And I think that that, you know, that is a great joy uh, for that access that we've been able to provide. But also, I acknowledge that that doesn't work for everybody. And that some people, uh, this, you know, the in-person contact is is the thing that they absolutely miss. And the, the virtual has not been able to replicate for them that for them. And, and, you know, no matter what, what we've tried, and we've tried many things, that that's just not going to be it. And that there is 
real value to being together as a physical community as well. And so the church is not a building, but the building is also very important. And so, you know, those are the two, two sides of it for me. It's, it's, it's been great what we've been able to do. And it's been really, really hard what we've been unable to do to keep people connected and engaged. So uh, yeah, both sides of that um, have been, have been challenging. Any other, you talked a little bit earlier about successes, but anything else that we want to draw out on that Sure. One? Uh, one of the things that I'm, I really love is all the stuff that we've learned that will allow us to do services going forward in new and exciting ways and to create the the, the hybrid service, the service that you can go to uh, if you're, you're, in Lincoln and, and you're available, but, but the service that you can also attend virtually, you know, years from now, uh, you know, if you're on vacation or if you have a cold and you don't want to share it with somebody or whatever, like the, the level of access that we can provide to people uh, to our offerings is just really great. And I don't see that changing. I, I see that really that demand um, for, um, you know, being able to do things in person and a combination of virtual is great. I have to say that I see us having a lot of committee meetings via Zoom, even if we can get together, because it is, you know, uh, I know we're all sick of this, but there is a delight to be able to say, I have a committee meeting that starts in two minutes. Uh, and just to, to be able to not worry about driving to the church or getting your, finding your coat or are the roads icy? You just, you know, just go down. I, I'm in my basement most of the time and I'm just like, I could just go down to the basement and have a meeting. So that, I see that as, as a, um, a, a real success for the future in terms of um, being able to do the work of the church. For sure. Um, any other opportunities you see emerging from this year going forward? I think we've learned a lot about some of the things that are, are, are most important to us. I mean, when you lose that connection, when you lose what you're used to, it forces you to really think and calibrate about what are the aspects of your faith that are the most important to you um, personally, for the community, for those who are, you know, served and those who are not served. And for me, I mean, I, I appreciate the, introspection that that's allowed me on, on what are the parts that that I really enjoy. I am not, however, saying that I'd like to do this again and have that. I'd rather like have some some time in the church and, and a little less time to think about the introspection part, but, uh, uh, but I have appreciated that. All right. And then um, do you have a, a moment from the last year that you want to highlight? Either, either that sums up the year or just a moment to highlight from, from your, your time in leadership. Uh, I have to say one of the moments that, that for me, that's like the, the super emotional moment was the first time that the choir did the, the virtual song and everybody's faces were, were up there on the screen and I was watching at home. And for me, that was a truly emotional moment because I hadn't seen so many of those people for, for a long time. And it really made me feel connected uh, and excited to see, you know, those are my people. Uh, and that was, that was a very, very cool thing to be able to see. Anything else we want to include in this? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> did, it, did it meet your vision? Oh yeah. 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 No, All right. it's, it's good. Um, video editing is a little bit of a bear. So, so I, I know, I, I know it is. The, the directness. <laughs> Um, and thank you too for, for everything over the last year. I, yeah. I hope you say that enough. Well, I, I, again, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I'm good on growth experiences for right now. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> so. All right. I am going to end this recording. Um,